Oliver. Oh, now we're live. Uh, we weren't live when I was talking, and I thought we were live. We weren't. John Oliver, welcome to Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob, everybody. Bolo's here. Good times. Patty, hello. It's, uh, welcome to, uh, welcome. I've uh, been busy this week. Uh, I was not feeling well. I think I ate Chattanooga Ed in the house. There you go. Party can begin. So I wasn't feeling well. I picked up, I think, Listeria. I had like, I believe I got it from Bagged, uh, uh, bagged Delicious uh, um, Salad. And all of a sudden, Saturday and Sunday, I wasn't feeling all that good. I was all right. Monday, I went right down the tubes. Went to work. I had to run uh, to the grocery store to get a modium to get my through part of the, most of the day. Got home. I went to sleep. Uh, and really, have started eating normal foods as of today. I had uh, I had uh, eggs and vegan sausage for breakfast. Uh, applesauce. I just had soup uh, for lunch. So there you go. So let's see here. Uh, John Oliver, Edgar Reyes, Buenos Dias, mi amigo. Uh, let's see here. Mike's Aquatics. How y'all doing? Buenos Dias, uh, mi amigo, for those of you who don't speak the Espanol, means good morning, my friend, or good day, my friend. Yeah. And if it was a lady, I would have said mi amiga. And uh, and because mi amiga means lady friend. So there you go. A little, uh, little culture. Diet Dr. Pepper rolling down the gullet. So I uh, I did something this week. Um, it's, uh, Muppet, how are you? Is that I actually put a deposit down on, uh, Bolo's, my next dog, when Bolo is no longer with us. And, uh, and so, hey, hey Richard Stanks, what's up? At some point, Bolo's not going to be with us. And if you want the type of dog I want to get, uh, you know, you have to put a deposit down and wait anyways. So I was interviewed by the breeder. And by the way, if you've not been interviewed by a dog breeder before, it's uh, it's nuts. Tell me about your yard. Uh, tell me about your history with dogs. I. Uh, what will you be using the dog for? Uh, you know, obedience, maybe. I may take it to a dog show or two. That's about it. Would you breed her? Because I want a female dog. I said, yes. And, uh, and she said, well, if I allow you to have a nice one, will you return my fir the first pick of puppies from the first litter? I said, Yes. I mean, it's nuts. So it's, uh, so there you go, but I'm going to get a good dog. So that's all that matters. But again, I've got Bolo here. I don't expect Bolo, you know, Bolo's going to be 14. He's got a congestive heart failure. I was told he was going to live a year, almost two years ago. So, you know, Bolo's here till he, you know, till he isn't. And, uh, so there you go. What's going on in the fish room? I don't know. I, uh, I shipped off some duckweed today to Renee. Our buddy, uh, Color Guppies, is getting some guppies from me. I was going to ship out last night, but I was so sick. I was sick on Tuesday, and I just couldn't physically do it. So it's going out on Monday. I tried something different, and I don't know if you have uh, uh, done this or not. Uh, for those who have shipped fish, Doug Gray, how are you? Yeah, I am a shapeshifter. I got this chin thing going on. So, uh, so 
I, I all of a sudden read something or saw something about uh, some people who are shipping fish are shipping on Saturday. I know uh, Doug Gray, you ship fish. Uh, John Oliver, you ship fish. Have you ever done priority shipping on Saturday? So I tried that today. I have uh, plants go out to her, actually duckweed. She wanted duckweed. And I did. I said, pay for the priority. It's all I care about. I'll send you some duckweed. I got plenty of duckweed. I could really go into the duckweed business. Bob Keeler can't make it. He's hosting an Elvis impersonator only party at his house. You see, there you go. It's uh, and you know who's been a witness to all of that? It's our buddy, uh, our buddy Chattanooga Ed. Jeffrey Cunningham, what's up? What is up? Petro Man, 1185. Daniken. It's like uh It's like a fish tube fantasy camp here with all you people here. I feel like I'm talking to the best and the biggest, so it's good to have y'all here. My, uh, yeah, so I, I am, I have to sign a contract for the dog. Yep, that's how it goes. You're sitting here with your uh, five-year-old daughter, getting her started on the stream er, streams early, as you should. What's the name of your little darling there, your little cupcake? Your buddy. Muppet, let's see here. You know, I uh, I really enjoyed my uh, ex-wife had a bunch of young nieces and nephews, and I liked hanging out with them. They were fun. And I got to explain things to them and, uh, and discipline them and all that sort of stuff. The in-laws kept saying, you're so tough on the kids. I said, yeah, if you notice something, the kids love me. There you go. Josephine, there you go. Just brought her home, got to bring her home from the hospital on Monday. Well, congratulations. Congratulations on your little, uh, on your little, little gal there that's going to be, uh, uh, learn all about the fish from her daddy. So I think that's great. Maybe my next wife will have a kid or two. have to dig up a girlfriend first, but we'll do that. We'll figure that out and uh, go from there. Start water changes. Yep, here you go. Watch your daddy water change. Hey, Renee. All good, all good in the hood. So I yeah, speaking of water changes, I gotta do that. I uh done some uh stuff this morning. Yep, kids need not want discipline structure. Exactly correct. Hey, good for you, John. Yeah, I need to do water changes, but I did some maintenance stuff. I was like removing it a lot of duckweed today. Yeah, I'm not all the way back yet, but I am so much better. I'm eating normal food. I'm on day two without taking a modium. Can I use Echo Earth in a little clay pot to plant? in a tank eco earth is that uh an aquarium dirt or is that uh uh i'm not familiar with that it's okay patty uh, let me just tell you at the mob guppy uh live streams anything goes random questions 
<laughs> oh, you're in. This is because out of my mouth, you're going to hear random stuff. So welcome. Don't worry. No worries. Oh, it's for the reptiles. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a herp person. There was a big herp event last weekend, but I didn't go. And I really wasn't, I was beginning not to feel well. Petro, Petro Man 11, uh, 85 says, cap it with the sand. There you go. And Bolo is right here. I just took him out for a walk. I was busy getting junk done in the around the old homestead. And uh, I've gotten some, you know how it is. You, it's, uh, you could always do more. You could always do more. And I've got to get my, how many of you have done your taxes? Yeah, make sure it's 100% organic. That's, that's good to know. Organic dirt's the way to go. Or how about just some old rocks and put sand on it? I don't know. I am not there yet, Jeffrey. Uh, it's uh, I've got to finish getting my fish room set up. Been so busy at work. I know it's... Uh, I have a project I have to get done this week for work. And I have to go see a client tonight. I've got to go see a, do a client dinner tonight. So it's uh, I'm gonna have to shower for the second time today, and uh, dress myself up in a monkey suit and get ready to go. Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? They say he made a mint. Doug Gray. Write that down. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I I don't have any herps. I don't. Have, I've never had a snake. I've never had, uh, except for lizards that I keep in the room for a, a week when I was a kid. Never really had anything like that in the house. Herps is not good to have. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. I, I try to avoid it. I've avoided it so far successfully. I know too much information. Where's Jesus? Where's Guppy Boy? Have I see Guppy Boy lately? I haven't seen Guppy Boy in a while, so just uh, just a quick question. Let's see, I heard. Uh, let me take a look outside, because all of a sudden I heard like a door shut right in front of the house. I'm not expecting anything, so let's see. It, uh, no, nothing going on. That's good. Here it is, looking outside my house, everybody. So you guys seeing this? Yeah, live picture outside my house. What other live streams give that to you? I mean, really. All right, let's see here. Discus and flower horns coming in on the 17th. Wow, hey, excellent. Let's see, I got to run to the airport and pick up 600 guppies and 25 bettas. 
We just had the lizard in our house. Cat found it and tried to kill it. Managed to catch it and put it back outside. No matter and no idea how it got in. The frog coming FedEx. It's been sitting an hour away for over a day, not looking good. Doing water changes and le uh, listening. Lurking is always strong. You'll never hear me complain about somebody doing that. Hear about the restaurant on the moon? It has great food, but no atmosphere. But um thump. Okay. <laughs> Renee, put the cat outside and keep the lizard. Or kept the lizard. It, uh, it's funny is that, by the way, uh, speaking of, uh, uh, brine shrimp, um, my last package of brine shrimp I got, the hatching was not as strong as it normally is. Biggies, what's up? My hatch wasn't normally, it wasn't bad, but it certainly wasn't uh, 90, 95%. It was probably more like 80%. Well, this load I got in, uh, the first couple of hatches with it, off the hook. Logan, Ambest Aquatics. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. Doug Gray's writing these down with uh, the precision of a court stenographer. Yeah, that one wasn't bad. That one wasn't bad. I'll tell you, it's been uh, beautiful here in beautiful Joplin. Uh, it's going to be 60 degrees, perfectly sunny outside right now. It's gorgeous. Totally beautiful. Yeah, you know, Petro, I get, have been getting my um, several shipments uh, from American Brine Shrimp, and they've all been really good except for this last one. And, you know, I think they can all have a kinker. I know people who get uh, buy from Brine Shrimp direct and love it. Hear about that new restaurant that really serves guts and innards? It was awful. Okay. That weather is due here in a few days. 30s and windies today. The Noski Tanks, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, it's been beautiful here. Got to 70 the other day. Talk about nice. Talk about good in the hood. Yeah, yesterday was Rico's birthday. You do anything exciting or don't they allow you to go anywhere in, in New York these days? Are you like stuck at home like a, like a prisoner? In the 60s during the day in uh, so SoCal. My brother's been bragging about, he's going, yeah, it's kind of chilly here. It's like 62. Cool day for us. Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? Because he was a little horse. Doug Gray again, writing down that one with uh, a vim and vinegar 
of uh, someone trying to get uh, getting the winning bets before any game. It actually does feel chilly, at least in the shade. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. I told that one uh, before, bro. I do tell some twice. It was Wednesday. Uneventful. Didn't do much for Dad's birthday. Lucky enough to get a birthday from the wife and the kids. But you bought yourself into 75 gallons. See, there you go. Everyone needs another 75 gallon aquarium. Should be a rule about that. Yeah, so I have to go and meet with clients and thank god it's an early dinner it's like a 6 p.m deal so i'll be out crazy hopefully this will be done by like eight or nine you know sometimes these uh, these business dinners especially on the weekend sometimes they really stretch out normally on a weekday meeting with like a client or something like that you know it's an hour and a half in you're good so we'll find out what that deal is today Seventy fives and and nineties are awesome tanks. Yep. Ali Shun AS, when are you visiting uh, HR, Doug? Pick up your winnings. Is that homeroom or human resources? HR. It's not ER, HR. Yeah, homeroom. Not be here today. Looking at Carson Wentz's old house for sale in New Jersey. Hey, I, you know the taxes are bad in Pennsylvania when you buy a house in New Jersey. Oh, the hidden reef store. Okay, very good. Yeah, cracking a window as you're painting uh, the back of an aquarium is probably a pretty good idea. Pretty good all the way around. Sam Darnold's place. Is Sam being tra uh, traded? I don't know. I can't even keep... It used to be. Uh, Bolo's okay, Renee. He's doing fine. I made an announcement at the beginning of the live stream. I'll bring it up again. It's... Uh, I have put a deposit down on a puppy... But I will not add a puppy to my home until Bolo is gone. I did get interviewed by the dog breeder. And uh, I was being quizzed up and down. Asked they wanted to come over and take a tour of my property and my home. Make sure it's puppy safe. It's, uh, you know, Bolo's outlived uh, his diagnosis, which is great. I hope he lives for another five years. It's uh, probably it's not going to happen, though. Unfortunately, I'm getting a uh, I'm going to get a Brittany. It's my childhood dog breed, and so I'm getting a Brittany, a female Brittany. Sangulli tonight is the life story of Bob Kaler, the thing that couldn't die. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. 
Yeah, Brittany's our nice dog, and I grew up with him, so I'm getting a female. Trying to figure out what I'm going to name her. Maybe I'll call her Spears. It, our female Brittany growing up, her name was Peaches. So maybe I'll call this one Peaches. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have time on my hands. So it's, uh, but with Bolo's uh, weight loss and stuff like that, you know, I think we're in sort of the home run, you know, home stretch with him, unfortunately. Believe me, I wish he could live forever. He's been my buddy. Waiting for the brain, uh, the brain from Planet Eros. I hope she doesn't spend all your money. Some people have to take them to court. No, nah, she won't. She'll be a, a cute little dog, and I'll train her. And uh, and it'll be all good. The first week will suck with a puppy, as everybody knows. Because it'll be crying all night. <coughs> Play a radio for her, junk like that. Yeah, I'll be doing some hunting, Renee. I'm not a huge hunter, but I do like hunting for pheasant and quail. Which a Brittany is made for, uh, you know, really is made for. The other thing that I will probably do is, is obedience with her and maybe show her a little bit. Don't think the paint fumes are affecting me much lately, as I'm going to uh, pork chop the citrus spoon as soon as the unicorn starts playing the bagpipes. There you go. No, uh, pheasant and quail, Doug. Pheasant and quail. You have to play the, the Ramones' great little tune. Uh, it's uh, Stop, uh, I Need to Sniff Some Glue. You know, my problem with the bagpipes thing is that... Uh, Everybody I know who has played the bagpipes, they've been a tad bit eccentric. Now, you may say, Peter, you own 30 aquariums. Aren't you kind of eccentric? Yes. Yes, I am. But uh... <coughs> yeah, no, Doug Ray, you're right. That's a great TV ad about Geico. No, the NFL offseason is going to be fantastic. It's, it's already becoming really interesting. Yeah, it takes one to know one, Patty. You're exactly correct. <laughs> Believe me, it's... Uh... Someone had said to me just recently that, uh, you know, that I was a little eccentric. And uh, and then immediately apologized. And I'm going, no need to apologize. No need to apologize. I have skin as thick as a hippopotamus. Weird is good. But, you know, there's that line of weird. Hey, I can't wait for, uh, I, fa you know, Fish Fam Fantasy Football again. And uh, I'll play as many leagues that'll have me. This year is going to be very different with all the different stuff in the in the NFL. It really is. I 
the um you know speaking of the fish uh you know because that's sort of what we're doing you know again it's uh fish talk plus general nuttiness okay nuttiness um you know it's just uh you know getting stuff all set up and ready to go you know it's just uh, all the different feedings all the different stuff You know, get that all rolling in. And when I'm done today, I'm going to do the, I'll, I'll probably get some of my water changes done. Where's Chewy the Great White North? I had questions about Rolling Stone songs. Recorded when Keith Richards was drug free. There was a time where Keith Richards was drug free? You're doing your springtime round of anti-parasitic food. That's good. Oh, great snow. It's nice. It's March 6th. I guess where you are uh, up in the great white north, almost Canada, Rico Stan, that, uh, yeah, this is still. When I grew up in Minneapolis, you were guaranteed to get hammered. At the end of March, guaranteed. Oh, for the guppies. Okay. This wasn't for your parasitic stuff. <laughs> ah, that's good. Yeah, I'm tomorrow. One of my things I'm going to do tomorrow is that I think it's, you know, just to free up everything, I think I'm going to mow the lawn uh, tomorrow. And just so it's we have it ready to go, that everything is uh, even, all that sort of stuff. So I think I'm going to, before everything starts growing, I'm going to mow it, and that'll sort of free up stuff. Free up stuff. Yeah, Keith Richards hasn't been drug-free since he was like four years old. I've been parasite-free since so you've been about four years old. There you go. Peplin Creek Aquatics, how are you? Hey, we have like 19 people here. If you haven't said hi yet, please say hi. I want to say hi to you as well. By the way, the loss of aquarium cop. Um, when I would do, uh, when I have done my first thing in the morning live streams, you know, just impromptu at, you know, at 4 a.m. and stuff like that, he was usually there. And uh, really a good guy. It's uh, I'm sorry that we have lost him. And my uh, sympathies and heartfelt thoughts with his family. May his, uh, may his memory be a blessing to everybody. John McKenzie, how are you doing? Yeah, I had a friend of mine... Uh, it's, uh, we worked for the same company for a while, and somebody I've known for a long time, not real close, but not, uh, yeah, I had to interact with him every once in a while. He was a great guy, and uh, he died of the COVID this last week. He was 62, and I think in pretty good health. He was never kind of a smoker. He was kind of a... Uh, You know, good, uh, good all around person. So they've really loosened up the restrictions uh, in my area for COVID. How about where you guys are? Um, you know, about a month ago, six weeks ago, 
uh, my area, which isn't that big, had about 100 people, just shy of 100 people hospitalized. And this week, uh, it was down to three people at one point. I think currently it's like 14 or 15. Peter is an actual time traveler. Exactly correct. It, it's a uh, uh, being a time traveler is a risky proposition. is a very risky proposition. Because you don't want to change history. Like a lot of people said, well, uh, could you have stopped the assassination of John F. Kennedy? Well, I could have. But it would lead to so many events changing. I can't change it. It happened, is what it is. Sad. So you got to be careful with that skill. Because all of a sudden, everybody's reality would change like that. If I went back and did some, you know, if I went back and let's just say had a heartfelt talk with uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. That would have been one thing. Or saved Lincoln's life. Stop that actor! That would have changed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff all the way around. Did you meet the Morlocks? I can only travel 30 seconds into the future. Not very helpful. Ah, that's right. That was the Star Trek episode, City on the Edge of Forever. Yep. I sure have. They're wonderful. I was watching, uh, are you, guy, any of you guys uh, familiar with Eric uh, uh, Weinstein or uh, Weinstein? No, Ted Cruz was the Zodiac killer, apparently. So... What did I just bring up? Hold on. Let me read before I got thrown off. 20 here. 10 thumbs up. Thanks, gang. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, mine just went blank on what I was saying. Okay, well, we'll just move on. Uh, it's, uh, I haven't had the shot yet. I... Uh, I have a couple of coworkers who've had both of their COVID shots. And they say that uh, the first shot, they kind of got tired for about 24 hours. Second shot, not a problem. And uh, they say there is one pesky problem, one pesky side effect. They occasionally just reboot completely as they get new software downloads. Uh, by the way, uh, that was an attempt at humor. There was actually a conspiracy theory that said that Bill Gates was showing th putting microchips into the vaccine. Be really small microchips, but he was doing it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, so they 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 haven't had a problem whatsoever with it. Uh, let's see, I think my sister was getting it yesterday. I haven't heard whether uh, 
you know, how she uh, she handled it. But as of right now, um, it's uh, she's she's just fine. Yeah, it, it, this summer, how many of you guys could be doing summer tubbing? I know Renee tubs. He has his first one, no issues or side effects. Excellent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I get, I'm on like the next uh, tier. Wife received round one of the Pfizer today. Excellent. Renee's tubbing. Who else is tubbing? Summer tub, yes. Think a, ta a shot that would help you sleep? You know, the guy who was the doctor for Michael Jackson, who was giving him, like, knocking him out every night, he's, he's out of jail. Just saying, probably not real reliable. Probably wouldn't do it. It's close to impossible to get the vaccine in Philly unless there are healthcare workers. Yeah, that's. Uh... Hey, Doug, were you in the military? Yeah, I think I need to do some summer tubbing. Um, I have to go over to uh, Tractor Supply and see what they have. Hey, thank you very much, Kenny. Really appreciate it. Danny Kenny Aquatics out. Again, always appreciate having you all here. Oh, you weren't in the military? Anybody who was in the military, I uh, call the Veterans Administration. They have that available. They have that available all the way around. Get your shot, and then you can plug yourself into your phone and put yourself into sleep mode. Yeah, you see? Microchips do so much for us. There you go. Navy CB, 78 to 86. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think we're already uh, getting close to that. So. Try not uh, to do more Madeka rice fish this year, my tub raised again got raided again by a critter okay there you go there you go that's a good idea Good idea all the way around there. I actually just got the contract for my puppy. That hasn't even been born yet. Autocorrect is the biggest scam in the world. They give vaccines to the tigers in the New York Zoo. And they're already giving them to the primates in the zoos. I saw a deal in uh, 
San Diego Zoo, I think their uh, primates all got shots, which is great. Uh, but, uh, you know, people A rear admiral? Huh. Anthony's fishy friends. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. It's all good in the hood. It's uh it really is uh is a heck of a deal. Yeah, so I'm looking over the I just received the contract. And uh pretty exciting. And uh So I got to fill out the application here. All right. You wish you had pancakes? Well, you know what? Your Polish joke got retracted. Absolutely, Rico Stan. I'm on whenever you want me. You know, I'm not really a pancakes guy. I know that's shocking. You know what I prefer? Waffles. And what's the difference between pancake and waffle? Shape. Sounds good, Rico Stan. Uh, since I'm not summer tub, it, it goes through. But I know that a lot of people create Renee. Uh, I've seen people who, do, who have done summer tubbing videos that come up with kind of a mesh top that they put together that's kind of heavy on top of the thing, but allows all the sun to get in there. And, of course, the buffet of the skies to get in. It just keeps larger critters from getting in. And you may have to consider that. So you could be getting a raccoon. Do you have possums uh, where you're at? I think raccoon, by the way, is probably it. Yeah, and raccoons will dig into the, they'll dig into water. So it's just sort of their way. Get like a real heavy mesh and, you know, put a brick on it. Had a nice pork roll, egg, and cheese sandwich. Enjoy Z this morning. Yeah, raccoons can drive uh, trash trucks. Yeah, I think you have to go heavy duty, Renee. Heavy duty mesh. But of those New York City rats are about the size of bears. They're like unbelievable. I still remember that video from a few years ago of the rat that got a piece of pizza and it was just dragging it with him down into the thing. 
Never had issues with your tubs being raided? Guess decent dog population running around here? Yeah, very well could be. The pizza rat. And then there was a news story I read about that had a, a video of a squirrel, a pizza squirrel. Tree frogs ate all your fry. And of course, then there are dragonfly nymphs. That's a real big deal. I'm going to have to put a heavier mesh on it that's relatively uh, not too wide, relatively thick or relatively tight because I see dragonflies around here. And I don't know where the closest thing of water is. It's, you know, it's got to be at least a uh, standing body of water. I'm, you know, I have to look on the other side here, but I, I think I'm a ways away from it, like a half mile to a mile away. Rats won't eat Savaro pizza. Yeah, but Ali Sean, Savaro ain't pizza. All right. In Philly, we end up with ATM rats. Trying to steal the ATMs. I know that's a big deal there. Yeah. Wonderful bears. All right. There we go. Here's a dad joke. Ed, did the tree frogs just leave? Get it? Leave? <laughs> All right, Renee, your package just left. Uh, just left Joplin Mo. It's on its way to Springfield, then to Kansas City, and then on its way. And if your tubs are big enough, put a single fancy goldfish in. They'll eat all the tadpoles, but are slow, too slow to eat the fry. Yeah, you see, there you go. Now, that's a good tip. A good tip all the way around. You know, I'll, I'll tell you something that some New Yorkers find completely, uh, completely gauche, completely uh, heretical when it comes to getting a good slice in New York. I hate to say this, famous rays ain't bad. Yeah, I said Kansas City. When I ship stuff, it goes to Springfield, then Kansas City on its way. I got an itch on my foot. Okay, I got it. Scott's Aquatics. Hey, how are you doing? So I've done a lot around the house today, gang. I even vacuumed. I even vacuumed. Good times.
so my uh yeah so i'm really yeah so this weekend i'm not getting a day off which is not good because i have to do some work tonight and then tomorrow i have a report to get done for monday it's all good you waved hi to your mother-in-law that was the chore of the day she left arizona to come up to this mess who comes to new york in february march Yeah, where is the Subaru joke? Well, you know, we're missing Doug's Subaru joke uh, accomplice, Posiwi. She's good on uh, bringing up the Subaru jokes. Pretty good all about it. But I'm sure Doug has them saved up. Now, if you oh, I this way have you guys done your taxes yet? Anybody here have gotten them done? My appointment is uh, two weeks from Monday. Two weeks from Monday. So it's, uh, I've got to finish getting all my paperwork printed up. When the shows don't, I have to decide if I'm going to a barbecue potato or chicken tacos. I procrastinate too much to be done already. There you go. How do you make a Subaru go faster downhill? Turn off the engine. Knock, knock. At a Subaru owner's door. Guess who's there? Piston number three. Number three. Not done mine yet. We had some uh, weirdness in the taxes this past year. So I think I'm going to get them done instead of doing them myself. Yeah, I have a, an accountant. And so my appointment is to drop off and meet with him on, uh, on the uh, 22nd. And my taxes will be done around the 1st. And then I'll pay him and file it. And then uh, and then hopefully I might refund within a couple of days. Chicken tacos. Can't go wrong with that. You hate voice to text or voice to chat. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I and I, I get with you, uh, Logan. I, I I have all my paperwork here. Now, most of it I have saved throughout the year. But I have some, like, receipts I have to uh, copy in and do a few of those things. And I have to grab up uh, the Mob Guppy uh, income statements. And then I have a question for my uh, tax guy when I go see him. You'll have to pay this year. You made more than expected. Far more expected than consulting last year than expected. I'm sure you have to pay. What's the difference between a, a golf ball and a Subaru? A golf ball can be driven 300 yards. But a bump. Hey. Mike's coming in strong. If Phil Seawe was here, I'd be throwing down the gauntlet. The challenge to her to keep up with these things.
Yeah, it's getting the taxes done. I've got. I'll just go and get all the junk done and go from there, and get that all in place. <laughs> all right, gang. We have been here for an hour. Thank you so much for being here. Seventeen here, fourteen thumbs up. I really appreciate all of you uh, again. Thank you very much. You have a great weekend, and try not to do too much. But I know you'll be in the fish room doing stuff. <laughs>